What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Jay Renee, with Prison Ryan Radio. I hope that you're doing well. This afternoon, we have an artist on the phone that goes by Southside Mac. It's his 10-year anniversary of his solo project, so we're going to talk about that, what he got in the works now, and what the future holds. So we're going to jump right into it. What's up, bro? How you doing? What's going on with you? You know, life, one day at a time. Appreciate you for being able to... Um, stop by and talk to us about music and the things that you got going on. So, right, absolutely, absolutely. For like, sure. Well, I appreciate the pleasure. Oh, for sure. So we're going to jump right into it, all right? So first things yes. first, tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. I'm so on the south side, Mac, man, known as Mac from the dark. It's my well-known fans from Rochester, New York, 585. I've been doing this music thing, man, for about 10 years. Seriously going into it. I've been incarcerated for seven now. You know what I mean? I'll be released soon. Got plenty of things in the work, man, with GYG Entertainment. Also affiliated with Rapper's First Choice. I probably heard of them from being behind Benny the Butcher, putting behind strands for artists known as Casanova, Free the Guy. Um, Gilly the Kid got Perk Dirty out. So, you know, we got many things in the making, man. So, in affiliation with, well, that's the family. So, GYG, ENT, and R1C. Okay. All right. For sure. Congratulations on being able to come home soon. You know, that time behind the GWAL is, uh, is never the easiest thing. So, it'll be good to have you back on this side. So absolutely, absolutely. For sure. So let's talk about this 10-year anniversary. Okay, happy anniversary on that. Um, on your thank solo you, you. project. For sure. So tell us more about that solo project, the name and all that good stuff. Okay, so on um, the 10-year anniversary of my solo project, Max from the Dark, I dropped that 12, um, 2012. So, you know, during that time, many of the platforms that we have now, they didn't have all during that time. So um, on that project, um, it's, I got a drop from the late, great, rest in peace, K. Slay. Um, it's hosted by DJ M80 as well. And um, that project right there, man, it's just a unique project. It's a classic, classic piece. Um, classic joints on there, such a Southside story with the late, great, dirty rag. That was my partner. We was doing music together as well. Um, he passed away in 2015. So the project, you know, it's just it's a significant piece for us, you know, for this classic work, just the memory of, and this man, it's just, it's just a different feel, give you that real sound, you know what I mean? So that, that real street, that real gritty, that real hip-hop shit, that's what it's about right there, man. So um, I just brought that back out as being currently incarcerated just to get it back in rotation and also get it opportunity for fans to, you know, get an opportunity to get that on a different platform for those that wasn't able to get it when it did come out. I can understand that. And technology definitely has changed in, in such a Absolutely. short span of time. Um, we want to do a shout out to the, the brothers and sisters that we've lost. So shout out to them. Um, so let's talk about I know that you made this, but let's talk about before you made this, okay? What got yeah. you into music? Man, that was just something like, far as my neighborhood, where I'm from, man, the south side, like the older guys that was doing the music around me, man, one of my, uh, damn, the demise of one of my older brothers, that's the piece shot the mill. I mean, he was one of those that took me under the wing, man, and, uh, it just got lift up to these dudes. Like, they was doing it before me, man. Dudes like Shaft the Mel, you know, one of my bros, P.A. Nick. Like, these were the older dudes who had it for the hood. You know what I mean? They had it for the town at that time. And it just was looking so intriguing. And I, I just wanted to get involved. It always been a love of hip-hop since the early age. You know what I mean? My mother exposed me to, you know, the late, great uh, Biggie, Tupac. And just, you know, so it always been a part of my household. And I just fell in love with it. So we just started playing with it, man. We just, like, freestyling fucking around and then once I started fucking around with it and people like nah like nah you really nice and I'm like nah for real like nah you like you know you should record so once you start recording and you gain a little notoriety and you seeing people really being by moved by it so it just made me just do it more pursue it more and then as I said once I lost my partner Shaft you know the big brother was just like I felt like I still had to do it I had to do it for him because he was doing it for the hood you know what I mean so it just, I just kept pushing and kept pushing and taking this shit serious so I was like 
you know, unfortunately due to my incarceration, a couple minor setbacks, mm-hmm. I wasn't able to get as far as I was able to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm expiring to go at this moment, but I'm still going to reach that, that peak. But, um, you know, that's just where it started from. This is an early kid, you know, in my childhood, and I fell in love with it. Okay. Well, we can definitely understand that. Um, true hip hop heads all have, uh, you know, a love story with hip hop in today life. So we definitely can appreciate and respect that. So I know you brought up, you know, being from the south side of Rochester. So what was that like growing up? Oh man, I shit rough. It's really like south side, man. Like Rochester itself. For people that's from bigger cities, like okay, say New York. Because I've been currently incarcerated, and a lot of dudes from Brooklyn, like we, they, they say it's like a Brooklyn. So Rochester is like a Brooklyn, New York. So it's like a borough. It's real vibey, real shady there. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's rough. It's tough. It's hard to make it out that motherfucker. Like you know what I mean? Only the strong survive. Like that shit ain't taking no shorts. So it's real different, man. You know what I mean? Everybody just trying to get to it and, and get it, man. It's, it's real. It's real. You know what I mean? It's right. different, but we got like our own unique style. You know what I mean? So it's like. Man, it's different. I I try to paint pictures and give them visuals here and there just to let them see what it is. I mean, but I'll be able to give them a little more, man. But for the most part, man, you know what I'm saying? It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. Okay, I can believe that. I had a, a very good friend from Rochester um, that was murdered a couple years ago. He was a real solid brother. So he definitely gave a good impression on me from Rochester. So from what I seen and heard, y'all some thorough folks. So I can appreciate that. So let me ask you, um, so what you doing when it comes to music now? What you got Are you in the lab? What you got brewing? At this moment, like I say, you know, I'm just waiting for my release. Um, I'm cooking up, you know, just putting things together, man, waiting for these projects. When I drop, I got to drop Max and the Dog too. Got to be the sequel from Mac from the Dog right now that the street's been waiting for. And also had to make it before um, I got smashed up. I had duffel bags and body bags. So uh, that's another project I was working on. So, you know, in between there, you know, I'm just waiting on my moment to be released, man, and to set the city on fire, set the states on fire, and the nation as well. So I'm just waiting, man. You'll see plenty more from me. Y'all definitely hear plenty more, so just stay in tune. Yeah, we definitely going to make sure that we stay linked up with you and we encourage anybody else to do so. We're going to make sure we have your information where they can link up with you. Um, But now we have reached that moment in the interview when all of my musical artists always ask them to drop a little bit of their verbal rap ability on us. So I would like to open the floor up to you, you know, so you can show us your skill. You okay, down? okay, cool, cool. Okay. Well, the floor is your brother. All right. A friend of mine could take a lot, they hit him, throw the block in the spot, try to make it count. Stay money don't make money, so I guess y'all shift. Flipping in them pots like a mess or a cook. The more money I make, the more stress I make. I give them samples, then the rest don't hurt. You die, so you niggas confused. Give a fuck about them bitches and views. My city hot, better look at the news. It's still case, you still looking for clues. If it's a body on that blick, then it's finished. Homicide, still searching for renters. It's a the way it came still. If it's lit thirst, it's has been your block like a fair's wheel. I'm from the south side, yeah, it's real. Bodies outlined in the chalk. Stay dangerous, that's the protocol. Nigga, I'm sick of being a COVID call. Soup standing over his body, I'm damn overbill. I'm just making sure it's over for Niggas talk, talk to this time and won't perform. I come home, the city is mine, deserving days, and clear it out. I ain't gonna worry about. You ain't know my whereabouts. I was up low, but I'm here now. Homies got a thought. Was the fish you, they all live now. I guess I decided to mad. So I kept them all I see is dollar signs. And your bitch head bobbing when she swallowed mine. Tell the state love and not a crime. If you ain't getting me mad, don't even bother trying. You make it out your mind. Southside night. Okay. I already see that you do something like that to us. Appreciate that for sure. Um, Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. So before we leave, you got any uh, shout outs that you want to give? Absolutely, man. You know, first and foremost, you know, free all the guys and the females locked up behind the G-Wars. Free my sister, MJ, locked up in Bedford Hills. You know what I mean? Rest in peace. Great, great, dirty red, shot the mill. Free the guys, man. You know, 585, G-Y-G-E-T, R-1-C, stand up. 
you know, we live, man. All right, so... And shout out to you, Jay Renee, <laughs> Prison Riot Radio, and also Kite Magazine for putting me on to you. All right. So, yeah, we appreciate absolutely. that. We appreciate that for sure. Um, is there any last words you got? Anything you want to... Um, any gems you want to drop on the folks? Man, I just want to let them know, man, you know, no matter your circumstance, as far as being incarcerated, you know what I'm saying? Like they say, man, they can trap your body, but they can't trap your mind. Just stay free. Whatever you're doing, whatever position you're in, man, just keep that goal and focus and keep your eyes on the prize. Just know that your situation is only temporary. And whatever your circumstances is, man, as long as you try to make it out of it, as long as you try to make it better for you, each day you got an opportunity to do different, be different, have more for yourself. So, you know, I just want to let y'all know, man, stay motivated, man. Don't be discouraged by nothing. 